thank you uh, for having me here. It's great to be here. Um, so we are the publishers of the journal that I um, We uh, focus very much on uh, mobile and social media. Uh, we uh, publish news, uh, business, uh, Irish news, entertainment and sports news. We decided to set up the journal that I in 2010 uh, because we felt that um, news uh, were not being presented in the way that social media users were accessing, sharing and creating content. So there was, um, there was an opportunity there for us. So we it started um, two years ago, and we, we got um, um, some good traction and growth, and we learned a lot. Um, so I guess the, the premises of why we started this is because throughout time, technology enabled us to amplify our abilities and uh, to create more, to reach farther, and to do it quicker. So while some developments resulted in incremental uh, improvements, other cause dramatic changes in uh, the impact that our abilities have. For instance, personal computers allow us to create and process information in a real powerful way, and the internet empowers us even farther by connecting us and connecting our ideas. It has never been easier to create, publish, and distribute content. <clears throat> this brought exponential growth in the amount and availability of content and um, a very, very significant change in how we consume and engage with media. All these changes present challenges, and these challenges are or can be great opportunities for innovation. The internet has transformed consumers' media habits and the business of news and distribution. With the rapid smartphone adoption, the internet continues to grow and will be um, several times bigger in a very short period of time. This will bring uh, even more transformation and uh, with it uh, huge opportunities for innovation in this area. What I wanted to give you is an idea of how, um, how we uh, feel um, the current copyright framework uh, assist us or not in innovation from the point of view of somebody who spots an opportunity and wants to uh, come up with an innovative idea that solves it. So we believe the current copyright laws in Ireland as a, are a barrier for innovation and in particular for this space. We need to change and adapt if we don't want to be left at a disadvantage and with an outdated legal framework. So to try and put some examples, what I wanted to do was look at some recent innovations and imagine that um, these ideas were never implemented, never took place, and um, try and see if we would be able to set them up in Ireland today. Um, so in other words, let's have a look at these three ideas and explore if, we, uh, if they could exist according to the legal framework that we have today. Um, and if we, and by that I mean, would we be keen to pursue these ideas and uh, drive them and create an enterprise out of them? So the first one is to organize the world's information and make it universally available. So to do that, the first thing we need to do, I guess, is index information, put it in some organized way present results to people so that they can decide whether they, find, if they found what they were looking for, and finally give them the ability to access that information in a very quick and easy way. We might even highlight the bits of information they were looking for. So if we were to start this tomorrow and we start doing our research, some of the things we would encounter is um, how could we deal with the uncertainty about indexing and hyperlinking? Um, what about showing this information as way of snippets or extracts of work or even thumbnail images? And uh, um, all of this obviously in the, in imagining that we are starting this from scratch here in Ireland. Another idea I wanted to, to bring uh, is the idea of giving people the power to share and make the world more open and connected. So to create a social media network. How could we do that here? 
to create this platform where people will want to share their news uh, as well as the news of their family or their society. So for instance, in 2009, Facebook allowed users to express themselves by sharing other people's content. And today, millions of content producers are success and successful businesses rely on Facebook, Facebook to reach their audiences. If we were to set this up tomorrow, some of the things we need, to we need to establish is, could we show a headline, for example, of an article that a user might want to share? Um, we would also need to look into, could we link into uh, that specific article? As a way of example, I shared that yesterday. That's a piece of uh, old news about um, um, a licensing issue with, uh, to do with links. Um, so, if there is a licensing issue to do with links, we need to budget for uh, the links, the unknown number of links that people are going to share, uh, or do we need to um, ignore those publishers? And if we did that, are we actually fulfilling this idea of making a, uh, uh, of sharing information and make, making the world more open? So, um, making the world more connected as well means that people will be sharing this information. So we lose control of the distribution as well. Uh, and this information gets distributed in unpredictable ways. And it could reach millions in minutes. Also, if we want to make the world more open, uh, we need to figure out how we're going to deal with user-generated content. Let's try one more idea. This idea is to create a tool for collecting and organizing things we love. So, if we wanted to start this here tomorrow, how could we deal with images? Pinterest, Facebook, and uh, Google um, are some of several examples of really success, successful innovations that have been adopted by millions and are now used by us here in Ireland and others abroad every day. These ideas are examples of distribution of content, not necessarily creation. Content creators like ourselves, the journal that I.e., rely on this distribution, uh, these distribution mechanisms to reach wider audiences. Distribution and aggregation as a form of distribution um, uh, of content is of value to content creators. The evolution of media consumption puts a different value proposition in the distribution and dissemination of content. So, we believe that we need to remove barriers to enable innovation. We have to implement a legal framework that caters for innovation and for the rapid changes in technology and consumption behavior. Adopt adoption cycles are shrinking. Um, smartphones are the fastest spreading technology in human history and will make the internet several times bigger by connecting more people more often and in a much more meaningful way. We need to be ready for the new challenges. The iPhone turned seven years old last week. <laughs> Copyright is one area where progress has been made and hopefully we will soon see the implementation of the recommendations from the Copyright Review that will enable innovation in Ireland. It would be great to see other areas of law helping make Ireland a better place for innovation too. Libel law, for example, will be one area of critical importance uh, with the rise of uh, user-generated content. We need to discuss review and remove these barriers, uh, and law that brings clarity and is conducive to innovation is the required foundation if we want to be successful. Thank you. Mm -hmm.